sky by sky by moving in and they're off PJ's Ryer and Gina Maya out for the early advantage, and they get away quickly now by some three lengths, and on the far outside is Sky By moving into third position. Super Money riding the rail in fourth, and Golden Blossom in between Oris is in fifth. Celtic War Cry drops back to sixth position, heading for the far turn run, another five lengths back, and it's Hey Riri, another six more, and Honor the Truth is well out kicked. PJ's Ryder leads into the far turn, about a length and a half in front from Gina Maya down to the inside, and Sky By the two pass. Celtic War Cry ridden along from fourth while three wide of the track. Super Money follows another six lengths back. Golden Blossom and Hey Re Re and Honor the Truth trails the field with a quarter to go at Pimlico. PJ's Ryder the one to catch. Sky by on the outside trying to come after that one. Sky by on the outside driven. PJ's Ryder sticking and holding by two and a half lengths now. Three sixteenths to go. PJ's Ryder. PJ's Ryder now by three with a furlong left to run. Sky by second and Gina May in third. Celtic War Warcry shifts in a little bit, followed by Super Money with a 16th left to go. PJ's Rider, one more try for Sky By. Sky By gets by. Sky By. Wearing down PJ's Rider last 16th of a mile, then Gina Maya, Honor the Truth, closed a lot of ground, and then it was Celtic Warcry. Fourth, no changes. Fourth, fifth race, scratch 1A, part of the entry, 1A, scratch 2. Scratch two, scratch six, and scratch ten. Fifth race scratches one, eight, two, six, and ten. Minute fourteen point four eight on official stewards inquiry stretch run. And scratch 10. Fifth race scratches 1, 8, 2, 6, and 10. Jockey change on three, Abuela Paps. Jean Brasenio, weight 126. Number nine, Super Rocker, two over. 20 minutes to race two. Don Diva, Don Diva, in line, hand her off. Maybe at the beach and Thunder Boss on the outside, scrambling out nose to nose for the lead. Here is Matty Bowes racing along in third. Outside is Devil Pays It Gold, who's up close, and Loving Cup is in fifth while saving ground heading into the turn run, and Don Diva trailing the field. Around that turn with three furlongs left to go. And leading the way is Meet Me at the Beach, about a half length in front from Devil Pays It Gold. It's second, uh, and uh, rather Thunder Boss is leading the way. Devil Pays It Gold is second. Meet Me at the Beach is in third. Then to the outside is Loving Cup, who's next. And they are followed by Matty Bowes, spun out well off that rail into the stretch now. And the extreme outside now, trying to quick it up for that lead. Here comes a Loving Cup. And Loving Cup has just passed into the center of the track. Loving Cup in front from Devil Pays in Gold Thunder. Boss is back in third, close to home. Loving Cup. Loving Cup scoring a length and a half. Devil Pays in Gold was second. Thunder Boss is third. Meet. Me at the beach and Matty Bow. Loving Cup, William Humphrey for Larry Rebold owner, trainer Hugh McMahon. Five-year-old chestnut mare Loving Cup by Cantharos out of Spitestown Bell by Spitestown, bred in Kentucky by Nursery Place. Loving Cup, William Humphrey for Larry Rebold owner, trainer Hugh McMahon. Five-year-old chestnut mare loving cup by Cantharos out of Spitestown Bell by Spitestown, bred in Kentucky by Nursery Place.
59.33. For exacta, 24.20. Dollar trifecta, 22.70. 111 and 7. One dollar superfecta, 111.74. 44.60. Dollar double nine one forty four forty. Third race, scratch five, caged pixie. Fourth race, no changes. Fifth race, scratch one, a punch boy palace, two shack in the box. Gene Brasenio, the jockey on three, Abuelo Paps. Weight 126, scratch the six, chocolate shake. Number nine, super rockers, two over. And scratch number 10, Switzer in the fifth. Third race, scratch five, caged pixie. Exacta, trifecta, superfecta, double, pick three. And they're off. Some is nine. Just a beat slow to begin. Goal time. Vixen and Nita Marker. Salty Saul outside. Some is nine. Quickly chiming in now with early speed. Here comes Some is nine up to contest goal time. Vixen and take a narrow lead. Some is nine. A half in front. Past that five for a long mark from goal time. Vixen Nita Marker. Flat discount on the outside. Moving forward to flat discount. Now third. Then it's back to Irish Laces on the outside. About four lengths off a of speed. And Salty Saul is a trailer. Some is nine from flat discount. Round that far turn run. As they round that turn with three furlongs to go. Irish Laces move solidly into third position now. And they are followed by Need Eight Marker in Gold Time Vixen and Salty Saul Outkick. Top of the stretch where it's Sum is Nine, the one to catch, flat discount after that one. And Irish Lace to the center of the track. And farther out is Need A Marker. Upper stretch now, Sum is Nine holding on with a two length lead from flat discount. Flat discount can't get by. Sum is Nine is full of run for the final furlong. Sum is now at five in front. Irish Lace going to try to make a run up there on the outside of flat discount. Flat discount just holding second though. Sum is Nine and Grant Whitaker to win. By almost five at the finish, flat discount. Count then Irish Lace Gold Time Vixen. In the winner's circle, sub is nine, Grant Whitaker. Owned by K-12 LLC, Mario Serre, a junior trainer. Sub is nine, Grant Whitaker. Five-year-old Bay Mare by Super 99, out of Lady Artemis by Awesome Again. Brendan Maryland by Barack Farm. One seven double, 2060. Pick three, 36, 40. Two dollar exact at twenty two even, dollar trifecta at twenty six eighty. And they're off. Classic joke. Very fast away from the gate. Classic joke down on the rails. Take that lead early. 
Now moving along is Regalo in Inveigled on the inside, racing up close there in third. The outside hold my Stetson moving up. All of a sudden, Inveigled drop back after showing a bit of speed, drop back to fifth and pass by. Summer State of Mind is on the inside. Inveigled now back in the fifth spot as they head on for the turn. Kingdom Force is racing about the three path. Back to Count Daddy, back of the pack with Goodbye Note and Amen McLaren trailing the field. Far turn run, classic joke, leads it about a length in front from Regalo in second. Summer State of Mind is in third and Vigil trying to get going again under a ride there from fourth and Kingdom Force. The inside is goodbye note starting to run on. Goodbye note still about ten off that lead with a quarter to go at Pimlico and Classic Joke turns for home with a lead from Regalo on the outside trying to get by now. Summer State of Mind out of the inside in third and Vigil toward the center of the track. They're coming through the final furlong. Classic Joke pop the latches on top. Might go non-stop is full of run. Has the lead by two and a half lengths. Regalo is giving all on the outside. Classic Joke and a strong performance Classic joke two and a half with Forrest Boyce. Classic joke. Regala was second and Vegel was third in summer state of mind. And goodbye. Note. Minute 12. 126. Nine super rocker, two over. 50 cent pick five, 12% takeout for the late pick five wager. Races five through nine. 23 minutes to post. Classic joke, chorus voice aboard. Well, be our racing stables, Sterling Road Stables, Rashid's Thoroughbred Racing, Richard Sullivan Trainer, two year old Greek cult by practical joke at a Carmel Can 12% takeout for the late pick five wager. Races five through nine. 23 minutes to post. And they're off. Running River and Carbonite sent up there for early speed. They're going head to head at a good pace. Opening up two and a half, almost three. Super Rocker Ampersand is racing in fourth. Back to Frog Town. One off the fence on the inside is Elusive Agent. Abuelo Paps is trailing the field. Carbonite down to the inside, ahead in front from Running River. They're still cooking up a solid pace, heading off with a far turn run. In the meantime, Ampersand's getting closer on the outside from third. Then back to Super Rocker next in fourth. Fourth. Two and a half more lengths, and it's Frog Town and Elusive Agent inside. Trailing the field is Abuelo Paps. Just above a quarter of a mile left to go. Three across the track, but it's Ampersand has been waiting in the wings of that speed duel and pushes on by. Carbonites now survived and try to take second spot away from running River down to the inside. Center of the track is Frog Town. In in between oars is Elusive Agent trying to pick up a share with a furlong left to go. Ampersand, Ampersand, Carbonite hanging in tough for second and well clear of the others with a 16th left to go. Ampersand, William Humphrey, Hugh McMahon, and a double today. Ampersand to win, Carbonite second, Frogtown third, Elusive Agent fourth, Running River fifth. And they're off. 
Running River and Carbonite sent up there for early speed. They're going head to head at a good pace. Opening up two and a half, almost three. Super Rocker Ampersand is racing in fourth. Back to Frog Town. One off the fence on the inside is Elusive Agent. Abuelo Paps is trailing the field. Carbonite down to the inside, ahead in front from Running River. They're still cooking up a solid pace, heading off with a far turn run. In the meantime, Ampersand's getting closer on the outside from third. Then back to Super Rocker next in fourth. Two and a half more lengths and it's Frog Town and Elusive Agent inside. Trailing the field is Abuelo Paps. Just above a quarter of a mile left to go. Three across the track, but it's Ampersand has been waiting in the wings. So that's Speed Duel and pushes on by. Carbonite's now survived and trying to take second spot away from Running River down to the inside. Center of the track is Frog Town. And in between oars is Elusive Agent trying to pick up a share with a furlong left to go. Ampersand, Ampersand, Carbonite hanging in tough for second and well clear of the others with a 16th left to go. Ampersand, William Humphrey, Hugh McMahon, and a double today. Ampersand to win, Carbonite second, Frogtown third, Elusive Agent fourth, Running River fifth. Ampersand, William Humphrey, Ewing Mann teaming up for two. Also two wins today for owner Larry Ribold. Five-year-old Chestnut Gelding Ampersand by Spite Star of Majestic Maria by Marie's Mon. Bred in Florida by Sally J. Ander. Old Chestnut Gelding Ampersand by Spite Star of Majestic Maria by Marie's Mon. Bred in Florida by Sally J. Anderson. In a minute, 12.42 Ampersand official in race five. Blame Catalaya, last up. And they're off. Spicy Margarita, the speed of the speed from Mundle of Joy and Golden Can. They're on the outside. Noble Vid settles back into the fourth spot. Here's Breezy Connection in the Red Silks, about three deep past the half mile pole. Speak your mind in between rivals. And trailing the field is Blame Catalaya, well out kicked and well off that rail. Into the turn, Spicy Margarita, the one to catch from Golden Can and Mundle of Joy. They're on the inside from third. It's two more lengths and Breezy Connection moves along there from fourth. And Noble Bid is in fifth. Speak your mind is next. And out kicked his blame Catalaya with a quarter to go at Pimlico. Spicy Margarita turns her home with the lead. Has it about a length from Golden Can Mundle of Joy down inside there. Trying to sneak through an hour opening. Won't. Going to angle to the outside. The two path out center of the track is Breezy Connection 2. And here's Spicy Margarita staying on the outside. Mundle of Joy. One more try. Mundle of Joy on the outside. Trying to nab Spicy Margarita. Spicy Margarita. And Mundle of Joy. Third Breezy Connection, and then Golden Can. Carry over 3,128.81. Seventh race, scratch the plane one, Tenebris. Number three, Inspired Irish, jockey change to be announced. Eighth race, number one, Uncle Irish, jockey Carlos Lopez, scratch the six, awfully cool, 60-30. Dallas Superfected 211.70 at high five, 116.30. Fifty-four forty double, pick three. 
Spicy Margarita, J.D. Acosta aboard for Built Right Stables, LLC, trained by Raymond Ginter, Jr. Four-year-old at Bay Philly by Cinco Charlie, out of Got to Be My Girl by Alluvial, bred in Kentucky by Kathy Maybe. Running time, 58.57. Tenebris. Number three, Inspired Irish. Jockey change to be announced. Eighth race, number one, Uncle Irish. Jockey, Carlos Lopez. Scratch the six, awfully cool. Ninth race, off turf mile, the 16th main track. Scratch one, Kobe Smile. Two, Girlie the Butcher. Three, Determined Lily. Four, Call Me Vivian. Seven, Cush Effect. Scratch the 10, Domo Origato. Number 11, Cumberland Falls, jockey now Geron Barbosa on the 11, Cumberland Falls in the ninth race. 24 minutes to post, race seven. I call her in the outside. I call her moving in. And they're off. Brother Conway, very sharp start from the gate. Fine Faith is sent up there for early speed. So Fine Faith and Brother Conway head-to-head -head for the lead. Here on the outside is Murray, the favorite, moving along to third. Liberty Star is next in fourth, and i is alongside of Inspired Irish is at the rail. And trailing the field back there is Delegated. Delegated last, and about a dozen lengths on the pace. Fine Faith, Brother Conway doing the battle up front, heading into the far turn. And Murray spies them from third, about three wide. Liberty Star is the gray on the inside. i in between horses in the second flight of runners with three furlongs left to go. Inspired Irish is next and delegated to the back of the pack. They move toward the top of the stretch, just about a quarter to go at Pimlico. Brother Conway is willing on the outside to a narrow lead from Fine Faith out of the inside. Murray gets some reminders to go on toward the center of the track, is trying to grab them now. Brother Conway. Conway Murray out of the middle of the track quickens up and moves into second. Fine Faith has dropped back and a fellow by Liberty Star and Icor. Here comes Murray uh, digging in Brother Conway. Brother Conway Murray. Murray and Brother Conway. Here's Murray grabbing Brother Conway in the late stages to win under Sheldon Russell. Murray gets it done. Brother Conway ran huge race and Liberty Star was third and Icor was fourth and inspired Irish fifth. Seven five four one eight three, unofficial. Two dollar exact to ten eighty dollar traffic to twenty thirty. Dollar super effect to thirty eight forty, double twenty eighty. Pick three twenty seven eighty, pick four hundred thirty three forty. Eighth race one, Uncle Irish, Carlos Lopez the jockey, scratch six, awfully cool. Ninth race. Off turf main track now. Scratch the one, two, three, four, seven, ten. One, two, three, four, seven, ten. Number 11, Cumberland Falls. Jockey, Geron Barbosa. Geron Barbosa on the 11, Cumberland Falls in the ninth race. 24 minutes to race eight. Magic Michael. And they're off. Solid break for the ball. 
Uncle Irish first out of the gate there, and Outlier has early speed, and same for all threes who's stoked up in between horses, three across the track into the first turn run. I won is right off the lead there, racing fourth and four from the front. And back to Magic Michael and trailing the field is Everett Sung on the inside. Everett Sung is last down some seven from the pacemaker. Uncle Irish, three parts of a length from Outlier, second a length and a half. All three's taken back in third position and trying to save something with six furlongs left to go. I won is a comfortable fourth at this juncture. And on the outside is Magic Michael. On the inside, Everett Sung, still Everett Sung, still saving ground. Only five and a half from the front. Five furlongs left to go and a pressured pace for Uncle Irish has Outlier is right there and all threes tries to join in the far outside. Length and a half more. I won is next followed by Magic Michael and now Everett Song has to get going on the inside. Everett Song ridden on the inside. Still five or six from the front as Outlier is taking the lead. All threes staying on the outside. Uncle Irish drops back. I won is next and Magic Michael with a wide out move and then followed a length and a half back by Everett Song who's coming off the rail for the quantum final quarter of a mile. Everett Song's trying to unwind, but now widest of them all off the rail and widest of them all. Everett Song has moved on the far outside into third. Everett Song coming with a relentless run. Everett Song on the outside with a strong move, shifting in just a little bit there. I won, put in tight quarters. All three's battles on with Outlayer down to the inside. Everett Song last to first and in front with a 16th to go. Everett Song will hold a win from Outlier in a last to first burst. All threes, I won. Everett Song. Owned by SCB Stable Incorporated, William Humphrey, Hugh McMahon, teaming up for three this afternoon. Time of the minute, 45.25. Two dollar exacta, thirty nine twenty dollar trifecta, forty seven thirty. One hundred six ninety dollar superfecta, double sixteen twenty. And they're off. Oh, Mrs. Maisel. What is Brooklyn girl hustled up there for some early speed, too? But, oh, Mrs. Maisel is in front, just a half length. Cumberland Falls, keyed up on the outside, moves to second, and almost right alongside, in fact, on even terms. So you see good together around that first turn run. Brooklyn girls back in third position. And the Synergies Electra and Tanka Tuft out of the inside. Cumberland Falls has grabbed the lead right now. We're in that first turn run. Leads it by a head. Mo Mrs. Maisel back on the inside in second. And Brooklyn Girl right there, right off the top pair. Another two and a half to tank a tough on the inside and Synergies Electra the two path. They race down the back stretch. And it's Cumberland Falls. Oh, Mrs. Maisel, nose to nose for the lead. And Brooklyn Girl applying more pressure out there. Three deep on the track as they head on for the far turn run. Another two lengths back, Synergies, Electra, and Tanka Tough on the inside. Pace has been sharp for this group with four furlongs left to go. Brooklyn Girl on the outside. Oh, Mrs. Maisel and Cumberland Falls, three right across the track. And Brooklyn Girl will go on. Brooklyn Girl has grabbed the lead. Now Synergies Electra has every chance moving from fourth and moving stoutly as Cumberland Falls and Oh Mrs. Maisel have dropped back now midway on that turn and tank a tough trailing the field. 
Brooklyn Girl in front with a quarter to go at Pimlico from Synergies Electra. Another three lengths back Oh, Mrs. Maisel in Cumberland Falls, both driven in third. And down to the final furlong and a half. And it's Brooklyn Girl. Brooklyn Girl by three and holding sway from Synergies Electra. Brooklyn Girl and Charlie Marquez wandering a little bit off the inside. But they're well clear now with a 16th left to go. Brooklyn Girl has done it. Brooklyn Girl in Baltimore. Brooklyn Girl to win by five. Synergy's Electra was second. It was way back to Oh Mrs. Maisel in Cumberland Falls. Two dollar exact. Brooklyn Girl with Charlie Marquez, owned by Rolling Meadows Farm and the winning trainer Milan Milley. Dollar Superfecta 50 50, 26 double 44 80. Pick three, $29.95. Pick four, $181.45. Late pick five, $1,339.25. Pick six, five of six, $354.12. Carry over $944.33. 12.25, post time tomorrow. Join us for stakes action. Tomorrow here at Pimlico, simulcast action for your favorite tracks around the nation. We'll continue on now and through the evening.